Apache is an incredibly popular feature on Ubuntu server. In fact, the majority of web servers are running Apache, and a lot of them are running Apache on Linux. So Apache is simply a web server, and like I said, it's the most popular web server out there. It can be run on Windows, uh, Mac OS, Linux, Unix. In this case, of course, we'll be installing Apache onto our Ubuntu Linux server. Now you will need to install the Apache server and doing that is simple with sudo apt-git. Uh, let's go ahead and update our repository list first. And then once that is finished, sudo apt-git install Apache 2. And uh, yes, we do want to continue with the installation. Select Y and then enter. And what I'll do is I'll come back once this installation is done. And our installation of Apache is complete. Uh, at this point, we actually have the web server up and running on our Ubuntu Linux server. And so let's go ahead and just take a quick look at that using our web browser. Now what we'll be doing is uh, typing in our IP address. Let me just go back over here and uh, remind you how easy it is to get your local IP address. You just type if config, and then you can see right here the inet address is going to be uh, our uh, local uh, IP, which in my network for this server is 10.0.0.15. So now moving to Chrome, we can type in 10.0.0.15, and you can see our Apache 2 Ubuntu default page right here. It works. If you see this page, everything's working, and you should see this page because by default, everything is going to be set up correctly to work. At this point, you have a working web server. It would simply fall to your networking with your router to perform port forwarding or something to get outside access to the server, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in uh, a video during the uh, extra tips section. But for right now, let's focus on actually configuring the Apache web server. And we're going to do that by CDing in to the var www folder. Now, uh, this folder will not exist, the www folder will not exist until you have Apache installed. And But once it's installed, if you have the www folder, then we can start to configure things a little bit here. And you can see inside the HTML folder the index.html file. Now if you're not familiar with web servers or how they work, uh, this file right here, the index.html file, is the default page that will be displayed when somebody is accessing your web server. Remember, I just accessed the web server using its uh, IP address in the local network and so this page right here is index.html and that's what I'm going to show you how to edit of course we already know how to use nano and so you'll be using nano to edit index.html in the var www folder all right, so here we are. Uh, again, if you're not familiar with HTML, that's okay. We're simply doing this to uh, you know, demonstrate to you how Apache works, and, and you can brush up on uh, HTML and things like that um, at a later time. But right now, we just we kind of want some proof and some evidence of what we're doing here. So uh, here we're in the uh, head portion of the HTML file. We could change the title. And so I'm going to change the title to Cody's server. Now this is going to the title in the head portion of the HTML file it is going to change this right here. You see on the tab, uh, this is the title of the page itself. So that's what's going to be changed here by changing the title. And I'm going to change that to, uh, uh, instead of Cody's server, uh, Cody's web page. Okay. 
again, you don't have to be an HTML whiz here. Uh, we just want to change a few things and then you'll be able to see those changes. Um, what we have here is kind of a style sheet um, by default that is set up in the index.html file. Now with the body tag, we're moving into the actual content. So all of this previously was in the head portion of the tag, and so that's not something you're seeing here. It contains metadata, the title, it contained the style sheet and style information. Uh, now that we are in the body portion, this is where we can actually manipulate this content right here. So let's go ahead and do that now, changing this to my awesome web page. I don't know why that P should be capitalized and a little smiley face there. And uh, that should be a sufficient enough change for, uh, for you to get the idea. So let me write out those changes and now I can pull the uh, uh, web page up again and I can refresh to see that our title will be changed as well as our header uh, text up here in the body portion of the HTML. You can see how quickly that changed. Cody's web page, my awesome web page. So again, this is where your uh, HTML skills come into play and you can manipulate the server however you need to in order to achieve the, uh, the web page design that you would like. Apache is so popular, I think, because it is so intuitive and easy to use. And I, I believe you've already seen that. Uh, it didn't take very much for us to get it set up and running. One final thing before I go, I just want to show you uh, how you can start and stop the Apache Web Server service, and that's similar to other services that we have talked about before. So you can use uh, sudo service um, Apache 2, and do remember that it is Apache to and not just Apache and then you can type status to get the status you can see here Apache 2 is running and of course we can stop Apache 2 which I've done right here now by stopping Apache 2 what ends up happening to our web page the page is not available because the Apache web server is not running but never fear we can start it again using the start command and after it's back up and running we refresh and our page is back now one final thing about this uh, we've covered how you can check the status stop and start you can also restart if for any reason uh, you need to uh, give the uh, the web server a reboot or a restart this service in particular just use restart and it's going to of course stop it and then start it up again so you can see here it is it is in fact running uh, it was simply restarted